guys, Rick Shaw here. It's the 2nd of April and we have a really nice, really nice day. Got out this morning, was uh, walking a little bit before the sun came up. It's just nice. Our little female dog over here, it was real sad. Uh, I was going over there and, and feeding her and bringing her water and uh, one of the pups had disappeared and when I went over there she was dead. Uh, she was laying, she, she was in a different spot, although I can't find any of the pups. I didn't hear them over there. Uh, probably some of the bigger male dogs ate them or something, I don't know, but that's that's a shame. She didn't make it. But it's probably all the better. I won't, you know, keep the population of these dogs down. Uh, the way things are going, the way they're humping around here and nobody Nobody gives a dang. There's going to be 50 or 60 running around before you know it. Uh, I mean, they're starting to fight over here. Uh, we were putting food out for the for the couple dogs that we have, and they're coming over here fighting over it and stuff. So we we pulled the containers out. I still leave water out for them, but when uh, when we see the one we like itchy, and then that poor old female that's full of mange, we just let them come inside and close the gate uh, so that so they can eat. But was out this morning and I wanted to mention a few things while we're uh, while we're talking went out this early this morning uh, you know do my banking the way it works here it's the I get I get my pension on the first of the month but it's the second it's the second here because we're almost a day ahead so went out this morning uh, I usually transferred in but we always take a little bit of cash for our pocket get some gas in the car and stuff like that because I'm paying a, a big uh, monthly thing now uh, you know to get the extras so this house is done for and that's this will be the last the last month of it and then after this is going to be getting stuff <laughs> for it so it's going to go on and on for a while but but we saw a uh, uh, like a checkpoint off to the side of the road only one none at the Baron guy or anything like that uh, and they were in their camo you know they call it the cornflake camo because it's the green, black, and stuff, real small pieces instead of the big jungle camo. And uh, they, they weren't even looking at us or stopping. They were just kind of sitting in the chair there. Uh, I don't know if they were playing cards or what, but they weren't really doing much of anything. Uh, it was right by the highway. But I do want to say something. Coming home, I, I didn't think of this before. I always talked about the speed bumps. But something if you come here and start driving that you need to be aware of uh, if you're going to drive at night. They don't, they don't paint most of them. Uh, the biggest percentage of them I see around here, they're not painted. Uh, we have the road going by Southwoods. They have a, it's a five mile an hour. They want you to d pretty much dead stop over there. Uh, it's, a, it's a very severe speed bump. There's three or four of them right in a row, and, and the one right in front of Southwoods is more mellow. You could, you don't have to slow down as much, but the one out in the middle of the road, it, it's severe. It's a five-mile-an-hour one, and uh, it's not painted. If you're driving along there at nighttime and you don't catch it, you're going you're gonna to do some damage to your car. I mean, it, it's that severe. Uh, they just don't paint a lot of them. Uh, and they're they're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you'll be driving along just doing fine and all of a sudden boom You're smacking into one of these uh, speed bumps. So and I, I mentioned the speed bumps before uh, There's lots of them here uh, It's just It's just one of the things they do here and if a lot of people take a tire and They'll cut the treads of a tire and roll it out so they can have their own speed bump. You know, they throw those in everywhere uh, it's just really something another thing you got to really watch out for if you're turning into an area that you in the daytime you've seen uh, at nighttime they'll throw a cable up uh, in the driveway or a chain or something they'll throw something like that and there's nothing on it uh, they don't hang pop bottles or anything on most of them some of them do and you might go you might drive in there and get your car cabled uh, before you stop uh, so you know that happens a lot uh, they'll they'll do things here uh, like a lot of times you want to turn around but they'll block off a lot where you could easily turn around here you know they figure hey the tricycles can turn around you know what'd you go down here for if you got to turn around that's that I think is the mentality so you got to watch out for that uh, don't take any shortcuts at night. Uh, I was I was with a friend one time right after I got the car, and uh, we were coming. She wanted to go to this one market, and I said, "Okay, let's let's go." And we were coming back. She says, "Oh, why don't you go through here? It's a shortcut." 
No, sure, okay. So we get in there. Well, what she didn't realize is that, yeah, a tricycle yeah. can make that turn, but I couldn't. There was impossible for me to make this turn, and her not being in cars very much, she didn't realize that because they just zipped through there on the tricycle. And, you know, a tricycle, they don't put, like in the United States, the wheel, wheel forward a little bit. They put it right uh, parallel with the rear axis, and these things will turn around in their own footprint. So they, they turn really tight. They work great. But uh, this big car right here, I had to back out. And you wouldn't believe what I had to back out through. It just it just was an absolute nightmare. So no shortcuts. Uh, <laughs> you know, be careful uh, when you're driving in some of these places. Not car friendly. Uh, the other thing that I'm, I've been wanting to get pictures of, but I either I don't have the camera or something something stupid happens when they widen these roads. And this happened to me when I first got here. I got the motorcycle and I'm driving on the national. It's the national highway right up here, going to Walter Mart. And uh, there was a big truck, a big cement mixer, and they will not ride over in the right lane. Slow-moving vehicles do not move to the right, guys. They lumber along wherever the heck they are. So he's lumbering along in, in the left lane. There's some lady in a little car. She's afraid to pass him. She's actually more dangerous sitting behind him like that in case a wheel comes off or something. But she wouldn't pass him. So I shot over to the far right lane, which is wide open, right? No, because right in the middle of the lane, there's a huge telephone pole not painted. They widen the road, but they don't move the poles. Uh, going to GMA here where they're ripping the front of the houses off, they don't move trees and they don't move poles. So basically widening the road just made parking. Wow, that's, that's all it did. But the telephone poles, so many of them, they're, and they're concrete here, they don't use wood. Yeah, you got your bag, your thing of rocks, there you go. She found a whole bunch of rocks. Looks like teeth, don't it? Yeah. She was washing them overnight, clean up her rocks. But uh, they're, they're cement. And they're they're leaning over like this now because when they when they undermined the pole, they had these little metal triangulated brackets that they tried to hold them up with, which didn't have any good footing to sit on and to hold them. And so they're they're leaning really bad from all the weight. And now they concrete them up, so they're leaning. Some of them you could see have broken, so they're they're bent in the middle like that. Uh, this is what they do, guys. <laughs> you know, we have the one area coming back from, from GMA. If we take the back road, you're on a road where you can move along pretty good. And then right at the end, there's a blind corner. And when you make that turn, as soon as you come around to the right on that turn, there's a pole. There's a big pole right in your lane. And if you don't know that road, you're going to wrap yourself on that pole or you're going to you're going to swerve to miss it and smash some poor uh, tricycle driver with grandma and her kitten you know be careful guys yeah, be real careful uh, i avoid a lot of the little lonely roads on the at the nighttime the one time i was going the back way out to work uh, i was on the trice oh i was in the piaggio that day and uh I had good headlight. It had a poor headlight when I got it, but I put a really good LED out in the front that I could shine way ahead. And I had a little switch to turn it on and off so it wouldn't blind anybody. But I'm going down this lonely road. And there were a whole bunch of boulders way up ahead that were in the road, so you got to stop. Well, guys, that spidey sense is kicking off. I, I hauled that thing down and turned around and, and went back as fast as I could go. That was, that was some kind of a robbery. There was no reason to shut that road. And when I came through in the morning to come home, that wasn't there. So those were some guys wanting to either rob, steal your bike, steal your money. And, uh, you know, so watch the lonely roads at night because you can get some guys that get out and get drunk. Uh, and they just want trouble. We, we actually were coming home from Mindoro one time on the tricycle with the babies. I had the two babies in the, in the tricycle. And it was dark. We got lost. We missed our turn. So we, we pulled over one of the only places we seen with lights on. I'm telling you, these guys were going to rob us. Uh, we had, we had our, our, my wife had her hand on the machete. Uh, and the way they started surrounding the vehicle, drunk. These guys were drunk, so their inhibitions are gone. I just took off. I didn't care that they were hanging on to the thing or not. Uh, it was time to go. And it was uh, good timing. There wasn't, wasn't any cars. And I took off as fast as I could go. Uh, and when we got up the road a little bit, I saw my turn. So we made our way home. But that, that was some trouble out on a lonely road. Missed, missed our main road. 
and wound up on a little one of these lonely roads and and when some of these guys get drunk they're like I say their inhibitions are gone you, you've got to watch out and and guys it's anywhere I don't care where you go uh, you know whether you're driving in the US or not you know you got uh, places now where these people are setting up the meth labs and all that kind of stuff and uh, it's crazy we actually had a little town that I was living in the dude was this he was this crazy looking biker dude without a bike <laughs> and he had mean dogs and you could tell he was a meth guy just you just looked at his teeth uh, these meth guys their teeth rot at the gums and they're always sucking sucking their face you know just like the the coke people always used to you know hit their nose you know it damages places in you and you can spot these people and that's what this guy was and uh you know he was he was a no good uh piece of crap and I, and we had to watch out for him uh when he moved in things went missing you know so it's not just not just here this happens you got to keep your head on the swivel and uh you know use your head here but uh, that's just some of the things I was thinking of as I went out this morning. I got to go do a little bit of uh, grocery shopping later and uh, take, care, take care of some bills. And uh, going to have some breakfast here in a minute. But it is a, it is a beautiful day. It, I, just, I just really like this one here. It's, the sun doesn't even feel real hot today. Kids were out. We've been having a lot of fun over in the, we call it, the kids call it the mud area and uh, flying their frisbee and stuff and uh, it's really nice because when we come in at night as soon as they lay down poof <laughs> they are just asleep me too <laughs> me too I don't run around as much as they do but you know just being out in the sun and throwing the frisbee with them it's been it's been a lot of fun so but I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, don't forget to pray for each other and this is Rick Shaw out wow.